of the name of Lionel Messi. You've been hearing an awful lot of it over the next 10 years. He has been the star of the show and have all played in this game. Figo, Zidane, Romario, Ronaldo, Johan Cruyff, Diego Maradona. Now there is a new name in the history books. Lionel Messi. We like to say world class, but there's another class. There's Messi class, which is better than any of the player on the planet at times. Water, the surface water is unbelievable. It's the last time to me. Knees of Lionel Messi. Part two, so that's football. Lionel Messi walks on the water, doesn't it? Do you know what, sir? When he comes to the sign of the past there, he was full of city, and a full of efficiency. Tried everything to make it grow, and he's standing about 12 foot tall at the moment. He can do things that no other footballer has ever been able to do, and he makes it look so simple. He's got so many match balls he can build it. It's like playing PlayStation. You give the ball to the guy and you start to, to go through every player. Is he the best you've played against in your, in your life? Yes, for sure. He's not human and he's done with the best of him. In, in my eyes, anyway, he must be the best ever. Here he is again. Messi is one of a kind. What he's doing, I don't know if we will see another player do the things that he does. But that is Messi. 30 seconds remaining here at the Santiago Bernabeu. It's Messi! Aged just four, Messi joined his local club Grandoli, where he met his first coach Salvador Aparicio. Two years later, Messi was spotted kicking a ball around while watching his brother play for Newell's old boys youth team. The club's academy director, Carlos Marconi, liked what he saw and invited Leo to play with his brother's team on the pitch. Marconi, he came on, took the ball, dribbled it past the whole team and scored a goal. So I took him to play with bigger boys and the same thing happened. After this, Messi was quickly signed up by Newell's old boys. Monica Domini, school teacher, break time was football time and everybody would argue over who'd get Leo in their team. His mother would turn up after the weekend with trophies he'd won, and he would stop her at the door and say N.O. because he didn't want to show off. Marconi, he was introverted, very shy, and a fussy eater. He didn't like most things, but he did like chocolate biscuits, so I told him that for every goal he scored I would give him a biscuit. Marconi then changed the rules, offering Messi two pieces if he could score with his head. So Messi went around all the players, and when he reached the goal, he flicked the ball up and scored with his head. I was in the stands, and he looked up to me and signaled two. Messi scored almost 500 goals for Newell's youth side. However, at age 11, his footballing dream was threatened. He was diagnosed with a growth hormone deficiency and the treatment was too expensive for his family or Newell's to afford. Messi family had relatives in Catalonia. They sought to arrange a trial with Barcelona in September 2000. 
At that time, Leo was just 13 years old. After seeing Messi, Barcelona's first team director, Carlos Rexa, immediately wanted to sign him. Despite not being able to find any paper, Rexach drew up a contract on this paper napkin, which Messi signed. The Blograna agreed to pay for Leo's treatment and so, in 2001, Messi joined Barcelona's academy, La Masia. The rest is history being written till this day and beyond. Guys up first, Vidal was one of them, he's missed. And how about this, Lionel Messi stepping up. He led off for Argentina last summer, he went to the left of Claudio Bravo and scored. Bravo, six foot one, made four saves in this match. Can Messi put Argentina in front? Ya sabemos lo que es Argentina, ya sabemos lo que es Brasil, hoy no quiero decir nada de esto. Hoy quiero darle las gracias, muchachos. Quiero darle las gracias por estos 45 días. Se lo dije el día de mi cumpleaños, son un grupo espectacular, un grupo hermoso y lo disfruté muchísimo. ¿Eh? 45 días donde no nos quejamos de los viajes, de la comida, de los hoteles, de las canchas, de nada, muchachos. 45 días sin ver nuestra familia, muchachos. 45 días. El Dibu, el Dibu fue papá. Fue papá y no pudo ver la hija todavía. No la pudo hacer papá. El chino igual. Lo vio un ratito nomás. Tuvo un ratito nomás, muchachos. Y todo por qué? Por esto, por este momento. Porque teníamos un objetivo, muchachos. Teníamos un objetivo y estamos a un pasito a conseguirlo. A un pasito. Y saben que lo mejor de todo que depende de nosotros. Depende de nosotros ganar esta copa. Así que por eso, ahora vamos a salir, vamos a levantar esa copa y la vamos a llevar, la vamos a llevar para Argentina para disfrutar con nuestra familia, nuestros amigos, la gente que bancó siempre argentino. Lo último, con esto termino. No existe la casualidad, muchachos. ¿Saben qué? Esta copa se tenía que jugar en Argentina. Y Dios la trajo acá. Dios la trajo acá para que la levantemos en el marcará, muchachos. Para que sea valiendo para todos. Así que salgamos confiados y tranquilos que esta la vamos a llevar para casa. The hosts never lost. That's a good pass, Di Maria could be in, what a chance, and what a finish as well! Argentina lead, thanks to a moment of magic from Angel Di Maria! único por cómo se dio, donde se dio, después de tanto esperar, la verdad que no había mejor manera de, de que sea y, y poder estar hoy acá festejando, es, es increíble está mi mamá, mis hermanos, la tribuna, que sufrieron mucho también y estoy muy feliz. Muchas gracias Leo. Gracias.